the in this video we're going to be looking at the hyperlink control uh, hyperlink control is used to display an hyperlink on a page uh, it is not the same as a link button even though it looks like the same um, it is actually not the same I mean when you look at a hyperlink and you look at a link button you will think that it is the same until you actually see the properties uh, link control is used to display a link that sends the form back to the server remember link button is just like um, uh, the button whereas the hyperlink is used to link the current page to another page maybe another page on our website or another page outside of our website so this is similar to the a the a you know the a tag in the html the properties supported uh, by the hyperlink control includes the image url so you can actually specify an image to be used with uh, instead of the text on this so I'm going to uh, demonstrate that as well. Uh, include the image that can be used to set the image for the hyperlink. It also supports the text property. The text property is the default, which people normally use so that when you write on a link or click here to go to another page, so that will be the text property. Uh, if you set both the image URL and the text property, then the image will be used. So if you set the text property to click here and you set an image. A little image for the uh, for the hyperlink the image will be used instead of the text the property used to perform page navigation is the navigate URL property which must be set to link the page to another page so once you have set the text or the image of the uh, of the hyperlink then you need to provide a URL which is uh, you have to set in navigate URL and this is what is going to tell the hyperlink what page you want to navigate to so and in another property is the target property which gives you option to open the link in the same window or in a new window so uh, if you understand HTML this will be very easy for you so let's uh, actually take a look at uh, the hyperlink control so the hyperlink control there's nothing else to uh, display on the page just the hyperlink so as you can see I've dragged one of the hyperlink onto the page and I've set the uh, text on it to click here to go to another page so very simple set the text of the hyperlink and uh, I set the navigate URL as you can see if I say navigate URL the navigate URL you can set it to any any URL outside your page so we can set it uh, set it to amazon.com or you can also set it to any page we did within your uh, web application so if you want to navigate to the second page the third page so you can also do that as well so and lastly and uh, I think that's it really okay let's look at all, all the properties that we've talked about and uh, the U image here okay so for example let me run the page first um, so if I run the page as you can see if I click say click on another page uh, click to go to another page it goes to amazon.com which I set but uh, if I want to use an image instead of a text I've already imported an image from my computer by right clicking here and say add existing item then I browsed my computer then I up you know added the image so I can set the image here now so what I do is I select this uh, hyperlink control again then I set the image URL is uh, link image so if I open that as you can see it's added it straight away so if I run the page now you'll see that uh, the the uh, image will take precedence over as you can see the image has taken precedence over the text so now now I can click on the image and it's going to take me to Amazon so this is how you use the hyperlink control so let's see if we can get any other so you can also set uh, the target so you can set the target to open in, uh, in a blank page in a parent page itself top so if we select blank that means it's going to open a new page so let's run that and um, when we select blank then another page will pop up when we actually uh, so let's click on it 
as you can see it opens a new tab so this is our previous tab it opens a new tab immediately so this is how you use the hyperlink control in ASP.NET and I'll see you in the next video thank you